Hey everyone, let's do a sound check first of all. Can you hear me? Hi Robert, Regina, Andy. Perfect guys, perfect. So uh, basically, as all of you know, if there's any problem with the resolution, uh, usually uh, we can upload this again. We'll upload it again in the HD version, but because it's a live stream, uh, you might face some uh, latency, but that's totally fine. Uh, also, you can uh, adjust the settings, guys, to make it as HD. Once you click on the settings under the video, to the, I believe it's in the corner, to the right side of the screen. You can click settings and adjust it to the HD version. All right. First of all, I hope all of you had a great trading week. Despite market was a bit messy, but market is just following the structures. We'll uh, discuss this in details in a few minutes. Let's just wait, guys, for two to three minutes, and we'll start the session. All right. By the way, those of you are watching, guys, please give us a thumbs up and leave a comment. This will help YouTube Algo to uh, share and uh, show this uh, forecast to more traders. Remember, they might need help, okay? So the main uh, goal is to uh, help you with the bias where market might, uh, might be going next week. So please, uh, give us a thumbs up, guys. Like the stream, and uh, let's get started. Dollar for this one. Most of you know that we were biased to the upside, right? A market was here last week, and we said we'll get a corrective structure. One more fall, another push up. I'll show you the structure in details, what has happened here. And despite all the good news for the dollar, especially uh, on Friday as well, we're having the NFP. Despite everything, dollar has fallen after this up wave. And there's a reason for that, basically. The reason is the structure. I'll explain the structure. I'll show you now uh, the structure in detail. What has happened? What was the reason for this fall in terms of structure? And what are we expecting next? Uh, also, those of you are joining now, or like those of you are new to WeTF channel, make sure guys to subscribe, hit the bell icon not to not miss any update, and to get a notification every time we go live. All right? Now, for DXY, what about the structure? Market was here last week before breaking this top. As you can see, we have equal highs. And what I usually say and what I usually explain, uh, those of you are new, also please guys go back and watch some previous forecasts. We're expecting market to go up to break these tops. Why is that? We have liquidity here. Every time you see equal highs or equal lows, expect that market will go up to tap the liquidity here before the fall. Now, personally, I was expecting market to correct one more fall before the up wave. This drop, market just stopped here, gave us something called contracting flat, and then we'll push up to tap the liquidity above these two tops. After market tapping this liquidity, we started to fall. We've got this drop, Again, despite all the dollar good news, market has fallen here. Why? Because this structure from here to here is completed and market is ready for the drop. This is a downtrend anyway, but I'm still biased to the upside. I'm just explaining for you step by step what has happened and what to expect next. After this up wave, this corrective structure, this up move here, we've got a contracting flat in the middle, one push up, liquidity check, and the market started to fall. After this drop, we've got this up wave, correction, and FP news just pushed market to the upside. It gave us this rejection, and now we are getting a corrective structure here. Based on the structure, looks like there is no enough buyers in the market, which means my next forecast, or like my bias for DXY, is towards the downside first of all before any up wave. Now, why market needs to fall? Because again, structurally speaking, I'm just speaking about structure. This is a downtrend. Anytime I gives you a corrective structure, it's a selling opportunity. So the up wave or the bias to the upside was just to break these two tabs. And after that, we'll see the reaction. We've got the reaction here. We've got like the rejection drop. Now Mark is giving us a corrective structure. What this means, Alan, anytime market can start to fall. All right. One more drop before the next up wave. Well, basically, I, I look for this sell setup. No, personally, I'll ignore any sell setup and I'll be focusing on my buy setups only. Right, guys? 
If this corrective structure is enough, market will fall from here, break this low, this low, and then start to move up. My bias is toward the upside, and I'll be looking for my buy setups only. Any sell setup from current level, I might ignore it, okay? Those of you are basically uh, short-term traders, those of you are scalpers, if you wanna go for the sell setups, you go for it. For me, I'll wait for market to break down, break this low, this low, and this low before I start look for my buy setups. Make sense, guys? Is that clear for DXY before I continue to other pairs? Just to make sure that everything is clear, you can hear me and you can see my screen before I continue to Euro dollar and other pairs as well. Is that clear? Perfect. Now, yes, for the XY, I'm expecting this one to break the low. Now, before continuing to your door, guys, let me just uh, show you one thing here before continuing, because this is very important. Just for those who don't know, regarding the daily live sessions, uh, now we have basically uh, give you another extension for the, uh, basically the promotion. Anyone who joined WW membership, he will get access to the daily live session from day one. Okay, so do not miss this opportunity. Our traders are doing an amazing job, guys, and uh, I can show you now in the Slack. Let me show you this one. This may see what has happened during last week in, in Slack, okay? And Slack is our private community, and all traders, all WTW members will get access to these dial-up sessions from day one. Usually, it was basically after three months, but now we have a promotion, and we have extended this one till the end of this month for now, till the end of May. Anyone who joined WTW membership, he will get access to the daily live sessions from day one. And these are daily live sessions here, by the way. Uh, you can get all the info from the website. You can go to this one, pricing page, and you can scroll down to read everything about this one. And also at the bottom, we have the FAQs. So if you have any question, if you know, basically, if you want to know what's included inside this one, you can go to the website and you can read about it. All right? Now, back to Slack, because this is very important, guys. Our members are doing an amazing job. They are making crazy performance. We are proud about every single one of them because they are really working hard and they are basically making amazing progress, like I said. As example, we have three members who passed funded trade challenges this week, okay, or this month. First one is this, basically. Muhammad, I don't want to basically open this one because there is a private info inside this, but he passed the funded trade challenge and he is doing basically amazing job. Uh, I don't want to mention only about this one, guys. I want to show you basically the support inside the community. And this is what's called, guys, a great community, okay? Because to succeed in trading, you have to be with like-minded people, okay? And it's not only about one member. A lot of members are passing funded trade challenges, seniors, moderators as well, and it's not the first time. I don't want to basically uh, uh, spend too much time here. You can stop the video later on and read every single message. But I want to just mention one thing is the equity curve. Look at this one. Okay, so to be able to achieve this one, first thing first, you have to learn how to trade correctly. After that, practice being with like-minded people, being with a great community in order to achieve this success, guys. Because remember, succeeding in trading is not tough, but at the same time, it needs a lot of hard work. It needs a it needs discipline, first of all. And it needs from you to be really serious about trading because if you read what our members are saying, and not only here, you can go to our website, you can go to our uh, Instagram, Trustpilot profile to read what they are saying. But this basically the bulletproof, like if you really, if you are really serious about trading, WTW membership will give you basically everything you need to become an independent, successful trader. That's the main goal. It's not about giving you signals. It's not about giving you trades. It's about teaching you how to trade correctly and become an independent successful trader, right? Don't waste this opportunity. The daily live sessions are, are basically helpful for every single member and it will be helpful for you as well, okay? Because during these daily live sessions, you can ask any question. Also, if I go to this one, just to show you one thing. Once you join up to membership, guys, you will get access to the masterclass course. Even 
inside this master class course, you have all the chapters from basic to the ad to advanced. Inside every chapter, you have these lesson notes, and they are in different languages, all right? And these lesson notes are crazy. You know also the weekly live sessions, you know the trades of the week, and I want to just highlight one thing here is the monthly q &A session. Why I'm mentioning about this one? Because this week, or I would say next week, I will give you basically the monthly q &A session for May. And you can see the recordings here, this recording archive. But what I want to mention about the next monthly Q&A session, because every monthly Q&A session is basically a lesson, we'll discuss the charts in details. I'll go for this one, top-down analysis for more than one chart, and we'll discuss purely the structures and the charts in details, where you can also ask questions live. You can ask me any question you have from the course to the structure to the pairs, and we'll go to this one step-by-step wave by wave and in details, all right? So guys, again, do not miss this opportunity. Join WTW membership to get access to all what I was mentioning. For more details, you can basically check our website, all right? I don't wanna mention uh, about this one more because the proof is everywhere for you that WTW membership is all you need to become an independent, successful trader. Only if you are serious about trading, all right? Pound dollar, uh, euro dollar, sorry. For this one, this is an uptrend, all right? We've got up. Correction, up, corrective structure here, up. Pull back, corrective structure, and market was correcting here to the downside. After this corrective structure, we've got one push up, and then now market is correcting again. If I need to make this, uh, uh, this one basically as a uh, short story, this trend is about to end. Anytime market can fall. Do I think that this is ready for the fall? Not yet, okay? Even above every high if you get a sell setup you should go for it those of you are biased to the downside personally any sell setup i get i'll go for it because this trend is about to end okay starting from here it's about to end does mean that reversal and this will fall thousand pips this trend is about to end means two things either an impulsive move to the downside or a corrective structure in all the cases down is the move i'll be looking only for my sell setups for you dollar even if market will go up to break this stuff once more i'll be looking for my sell setups okay this is for those who are biased to the downside like myself those of you are biased to the upside nothing wrong guys if you want to look for buy setups you can go for it but what i suggest you to do you get in you get out treat this one as a scalping trade you get in you get out those of you are biased to the upside do not hold this one for long okay because anytime Above this top, even if market will just give you a corrective structure, you have to protect your capital, you have to protect your positions if you are in the buy, and then let the market unfold. Because this one can simply, turns out to be a corrective structure for another fall, okay? In all the cases, my bias is toward the downside. I'll be looking for sell setups from these levels or from above this top. Those of you are biased to the upside, nothing wrong with that. You go for it, you treat it as a scalping trade. Make sense? Pound dollar, also this structure is about to fall. This structure here, this trend is about to end even we started to get some momentum here. This momentum to the upside, I was expecting market to go up to break this top and give us a reaction. Instead, we've got a small corrective structure. All of you know it basically, it is a running flat here and then we'll push up. Structurally speaking, anytime pound dollar can start to fall, which means if I'm trading pound dollar, I like to trade pound dollar personally, it's one of my favorite space. I'll be looking for my sell setups from any level, anytime this can fall structurally. But if we get a correction, want to push up, this will be even better. Anytime I give me a sell setup, I will get in and I will try to manage my trades. Remember, always use small risk. Those of you are biased to the upside, you must be in the buy from here, from here, from these levels. Any buy setup from current levels, it will be just a short term trade and for scalpers. Those of you are swing traders and uh, long-term traders, buying from these levels is not a good idea. You have to wait for market to give you a corrective structure minimum before you go for buy setups. This is for swing traders. And personally, I'm looking for my sell setups for pound dollar. Anytime, this can start to fall, all right? Aussie dollar for this one. Market is messy, guys, all right? Just to uh, to mention this, I'm not giving like uh, uh, an impression like this is this is easy. Market is messy. And 
market was massive from here basically started to be massive even we're able to read every single wave every single move here this is up running flat up might give us a pullback one push up also this drop corrective structure it was easy to us it was easy to wtw members to spot this one and then this drop after this drop we've got a small corrective structure one more fold and then we started to push up again without breaking this low all of this guys is a massive structure okay so personally i will not trade aussie dollar but i'm giving this forecast for those who are in or those who are looking to trade aussie dollar if we get a corrective structure one push up after this up wave it's up to you if you want to trade this one you can go for it nothing wrong with that but wait for market to give you a corrective structure first before this up move after this up wave those of you are biased to downside wait for market to break this top and then you start to look for sell setups why this top it's not only guys about uh, liquidity or about support and resistance or whatever you want to call it it's purely about we trade ways wave analysis concept because one once you master this concept guys once you see the structure you cannot unsee it once you master weighted waves concept you'll start to see the charts differently you can ask any of our members they will tell you that okay and once you start to see the charts differently you'll start to have an edge on the market all you have to do after that is to implement correctly and apply risk management okay all of this needs also someone to support you in terms of psychology because the biggest problem for a successful trader okay for a successful trader is psychology why is that our members guys our successful members i would say because also we have some people who are still climbing the, the basically to the success uh, stage you know so it's not about uh, it's not a overnight success you have to put the hard work you have to work on yourself you have to practice in order to succeed but about weighted ways wave answers concept once you master it you will have the edge in the market and once you have the edge you need to practice that edge and you need to backtest after you backtest you need to start to implement this one into a live account all of this if you are with like-minded people you will pass this path guys with a short to, short time okay so you will not take long to be to become independent successful trader if outside let's say this will take three to four years inside weighted waves inside wtw uh, membership if you join wtw membership and you get access to the community after three months this might take eight to 12 months it's not about next month so that's why if you are serious about trading you have to join right now to just get the shortcut the only shortcut for you to succeed in trading is by basically joining the right community and learn how to trade correctly before you risk your money okay now aussie dollar this is done you know what i'm expecting and it's up to you which wave you are going to trade this up wave or this drop dorian this was textbook pattern after this up wave drop all of you remember again how we covered this one from here we said to you after this drop market will push up correction up one more drop up wave and then after that i was expecting market to fall we've got this drop what's next alan if you are in the cell make sure to manage your trades okay because after this drop i'm expecting market to correct upwards before another drop okay this is the first wave of the next structure first wave of the next structure that doesn't mean this is a downtrend okay there's a big difference between a structure and a trend because a structure it can be expanding flat it can be a running flat they are not a trending mode patterns okay so i don't want to basically uh, confuse you more in this one but this is the first wave of the next structure means wait for market tv a corrective structure before you look for sell setups again personally i'm expecting dorian to correct for another drop if you are in the cell you manage your trades if you are not in the cell wait for market to correct before you sell okay because if you want to jump in from here you'll be wasting your time and you'll be wasting your you'll be wasting your money okay correcting one push up correcting one push up and then you look for sell setups this corrective structure usually takes time New Zealand dollar, the same as all this dollar, it's basically a massive structure. Even after this correction, this was clear to us. One more drop, this also was clear. One push up, and this gets extended, which means we might get a change of structure. For what? Correction, one more push up. 
So a corrective structure for another push up is very possible for New Zealand dollar. Even some traders might see this as some sort of expansion. It might be. I'll not, I'll not trade based in New Zealand dollar. I will leave it. Let the market give us more structures, more waves, and then we go for the next move. For now, this is messy. It's exactly in the middle and more than one possibility. I don't want to risk my money in this pair. Pound Yen, I hope all of you guys get in the cell. This was uh, basically uh, a confirmed down wave after this up move. And also, if you look uh, left, you will see what's behind also this drop. After this up wave, this was a corrective structure as mentioned last week. This was an expanding flat here. After this up move, market started to fall. If you are in the cell, you have to manage your trades because sharp down, sharp up means complex structure. You hear me a lot saying about that. And I'll give you just an example. Look at this. And look at this here. All right. We have sharp down, sharp up. We have sharp down here and sharp up. What this means? A complex structure. We might get any sort of corrective structure here before the next wave. But my bias here after the completion of this corrective structure will update you here step by step, wave by wave during our live sessions. WTW members, they have access to the live session of Sunday where we cover all the pairs in details and they will get also the update that will be given basically by T as a recorded session on every Wednesday. So every wave here will basically uh, track this one step by step and will give you the update. But for those who are basically just watching us on YouTube, wait for this to correct before you go for the next sell setup. I'm expecting market to fall after a corrective structure. Yes, oil. This was basically a good sell. Even some of our traders took profits here. That's totally fine. Market continued to the downside. We've got this week manipulation. And after this corrective structure drop, we broke this low and now market is pushing up. What's next? I am only biased to the upside for yes oil. Any corrective structure is a buying opportunity. So you look for buy setups and if anyone is in the buy, make sure guys to manage your trades and let the market unfold. If you have the opportunity to add your winning position, you go for it. Guys, I always say to you, never ever add to losing position. But the secret to succeed in trading is mastering how to add to winning positions. And we have explained this during one of our multi q &A session. To get access to this one, the recordings are inside your dashboards inside WTW members dashboards. Okay. So one of the secret sauce, one of the, I would say things that you have to focus on. If you really want to be a successful trader, master how to add to winning positions and never ever add to losing position. 99% of traders, they add to losing positions because they think that with this behavior, they will break even faster. As example, let's assume you get in the buy from here and market started to fall. You get another buy here because you think that this one, if it just pushed up 50% of, of this move, you will get out for break even here. All right. And if market will keep pushing the downside, you will add here. Or I would say majority of traders who trade without stop loss, they will do that. Why? Because they want to break even faster. That's why guys mastering the psychology, finding your balance in trading is very critical and we can help you with that. Okay. Let's say this is the third position. Now your break even is here, right? Perfect. For you as a trader and for all of us as retail traders, we need to break even faster. Okay. That's totally correct. That's hundred percent correct because the break even instead of being here, it's here now. Okay. But what most of traders, they will forget. They are tripling the risk by doing that. And if Mark continue to the downside, you break your account. So never ever add to losing position. All right, guys. That's very crucial because if you are biased to the upside, let me just give you a very basically uh, clear uh, explanation about this one. If you are biased to the upside, or let's say you bought this one because your bias was towards the upside, right? So you was expecting market to go up. If you bought it and market started to fall means you are wrong, right? So the analysis is wrong and market is not behaving as expected. Okay. Accept that, take the loss and wait for the next setup. Wait for the next trade. Never ever add to losing positions. Gold, this was crazy. Okay. Well, 
even guys if we are forecasted all if are forecasting all these pairs that doesn't mean we are trading all these pairs okay we focus on few charts and we give the trades of the week during our sunday live session sunday live session will be conducted by t we cover all these pairs and a lot of other pairs as well okay but we're biased to the upside for gold and this was also one of the trades and the target was 2030. all wtw members they know that and we said also even if market will go down to break this low we are biased to the upside we are only biased to the upside for gold and market went up and i really hope all of you trade gold get in the buy and made money trading this up wave now after this up move market went up we broke this top and we started to fall corrective structure drop if anyone is in the sell make sure guys to manage your trade and do not close your position why this one it might be the start of the downtrend which means if we get a corrective structure another fall will be coming corrective structure another fall will be coming what are the other variations here will this be one of our trades of the week what will be the change of structure what basic waves will be waiting for before market going up to break this top once more all of this will be covered in details during our sunday live session are we expecting this not for now we're expecting market to correct for one push there but there is some structure there's here some waves that you can you can look at to know if the market will be going to the downside or be going to the upside this part will be covered in details during our sunday live session all right do not miss it this will be covered this week by the way tomorrow dollar cad again this is perfect you know and we said to you after this up wave market has to correct we've got this drop it was perfect pull back another fall up till here everything was textbook pattern everything was clear to us and you know that we're expecting market to correct and if you just guys traded this down wave or this down wave you'll be able to make a lot of money all right because that's not a small move for dollar cad now after this drop market has fallen more which is perfect and if you get basically in two trades uh just to give you also one hint guys what we usually say to our traders and uh and this one guys uh I want all of you to try it before to test it before you implement this one okay if you usually take let's say two lots and let's say you are selling dollar card if you usually trade two lots instead of going for full uh, position two lots divide this one into two and every time market will give you basically the the target close one position and move the next one to break even and let the market unfold why is that because usually if you are in a correct bias if you are in a correct trend if you are expecting market to go to the upside to this level and this is the start of a big uptrend this might push all the way up 1000 pips so divide this one into two positions take one position one lot size and one position one lot size from the same level and once the market is your target try to close one position and move the next one and break even this guys in this way you'll maximize your profits these sorts of things guys we discuss during our monthly QA sessions how to add twin positions how to implement this correctly how to maximize profits okay because once you master with the waves concept you will know where the market is going next with a high probability chance okay no one have basically 100 percent no one will be able to predict the market with a 100 percent it's not about 100 percent it's about high accuracy okay it's never been about 100 percent accuracy okay or like 100 percent winning trades we also take losses but the point is we know how to manage our losses after you get in the trade you have only five um, outcomes big loss small loss break even small win or big win if you can remove the big loss situation from your outcome just sit and think like how can you remove that it's pretty easy how to remove that do not over risk do not over trade never ever add to losing position and do not trade without stop loss if you apply just these four rules you will not get the big loss situation after that if you learn how to trade correctly all the other outcomes guys will take care of themselves small loss is not a big issue break even is perfect small win big win this is all you need okay and if you can apply this one on a consistent basis every single month joining like-minded people be with a great community this guys will be your road to succeed in trading okay there's i would not say there's no other way but this is a i would say confirmed way this is a guaranteed way 
Again, only if you are serious about trading and if you are willing to put the right work and the right time on it. Trading is like any other profession. You will not be a professional trader within one week or one month. This will take time. And I want all of you guys to, to do your research before you join anyone. I think all of you are smart enough to go and do your due diligence before you join anyone, any signal service. I know a lot might dislike this video, but I don't care. I want you guys to succeed and I want you to not lose your hard earned money. Okay. I believe that most of you, they are trading money. If you are trading a live account, they are trading money that you cannot afford to lose. And that's why I'm giving you all these tips guys. And I'm giving you this opportunity to teach you how to learn how to trade correctly before you risk your money. Okay. So before joining anyone, no matter who, who is this one, even we trade waves, go and search about us before you join. Okay. Make sense. So Dorcad, this was perfect move. Market was falling. What's next? Corrective structure, one more fall. This corrective structure, it might be something similar to this one. Keep an eye on this one here. And if you get something similar, you look for sell setups. Another drop is coming. A drop similar to this one. Okay. Silver, this was also perfect. We said we are back to the upside and I think this was also one of the trades. Okay. Market went up. It tapped 25.6. We've got a pullback and then up again. Even this is a massive structure, but with this rejection, we might get one push up before the fall. From now onwards, I'm best to the downside for silver as a midterm trade. Okay. So if you want to trade silver, wait for market to be a corrective structure or push up to break this top. And then you look for sell setups. I'll be looking for sell setups if I'm trading silver. Personally, I'm not trading this one. Okay. So those of you are trading this, wait for sell setups from after a corrective structure or after market breaks this time, you look for sell setups. Okay. Bitcoin, we said to you last week, market has to correct. We've got a drop, push up, another fall. Even this a massive structure, market is correcting. What's next? I'm expecting market to give us one more drop. Personally, I'm biased to downside for silver, structurally speaking. And this drop, guys, is for those who are trading Bitcoin. Okay. If you are basically investing in Bitcoin, you don't have to worry. You need just to manage your trades because you must be in from lower levels. Okay. And if you are looking to invest, wait for market to pull back, wait for market to drop, and then you buy Bitcoin from a lower levels. Personally, I'm biased to the downside. If we get any change of structure, we'll update you during our Sunday session and our Wednesday video. Yeah, 30. We are adding this here this week. Last week it was SPX, S&P 500. And most of you have seen basically how the market went up. We broke the top for SPX and we started the other structure. Now for this one, might give us a corrective structure. It went back up and then a fall. What's next? Correction, one will push up. This for short term traders. Those of you who are looking for a midterm trade after the completion of this corrective structure, I'm expecting market to fall again. Okay. So for year 30, I'm expecting to give us a corrective structure, one push up and most probably will get another fall. Most probably. Right guys, that was all for today. Like I said, uh, market is messy. We are just giving you basically a uh, helping hand by giving you this promotion again. Take advantage of it guys. Try to join WTW membership. This will be basically your shortcut to succeed in trading. If you are really serious about trading, do not miss this opportunity. Again, I showed you basically what our members are doing. There is a lot of other success stories on our website and on our social media platforms, Instagram, Telegram, all the official links are in the description under this video anyway. And like I said, the next month, the Q&A session will be next week and the details will be posted on the dashboard. Do not miss the next month, the Q&A session because we'll go through the charts in details. Like we give you the pound dollar as example previously and a lot of other pages, Euro dollar on Instagram uh, reels. And also our team was posting this on YouTube shorts. So it will be something like uh, some sort of in-depth analysis. We'll go through more than one chart in detail and it will be next week. I will just guys read the chat for uh, two, three minutes. And after that, we end the session. Right, so uh, Chivam is saying market is looking bearish on four hours. 
uh, Chivan, I believe you are uh, referring to DXY, right? And for this one, yes, after a corrective strike, one more fall is very possible. Like I said, you can watch this one again, uh, the recording once more, one more time to know basically the bias, okay? Uh, thank you, Mona. Uh, Iftika, what will, CPI, what will CPI do for DXY? For this one, guys, as most of you know, or like those of you who don't know, during our Sunday live session, we start the session always, always with fundamental analysis. And this will be discussed in details by T during our Sunday live session. To get access to our Sunday live session, subscribe to WW membership, okay? Because this is very important. We always, guys, combine fundamental analysis with we trade waves wave analysis concept before we go and give you the bias or give you the trades of the week and the month by the way in regards to the trades of the month i really hope a lot of you guys get in this footsie i will not go to the website because there is a lot of other targets for this one uh just to show you one thing this was also one of our trades of the month if you remember also we covered this on youtube uh, a few weeks ago this was the move and we said we are expecting market to us something similar to this one minimum do you remember that this is a perfect move to the downside so, again, this was one of our trades that was covered during our live sessions. Uh, pound dollar for this one, I covered basically what about pound dollar? Uh, Pinochles? Uh, yes, Assad, that's correct. James and FP was good for dollar on Friday, but the market shows dollar not gaining. Exactly. I think the US Fed are worried about the banks holding, therefore, Fed maybe. Right, so, James, you are right on this one. But like I said, in terms of the news, in terms of fundamental analysis, if I need to, if I will start speak about this one, we need another one hour. So that's why these sort of discussions, uh, we are basically giving them at the start of every Sunday live session. And they are very, very important, by the way. First thing first, to know what's happening in the market. Second thing, to know what's happening in the world. And third thing is, if anyone asks you about what's happening in the financial market, you'll be able to, to answer. If you are discussing this with your friends, with your family members, you know? So this also very helpful for you. And the main important part is to uh, prepare yourself for the next trade. Because as an example, if you are biased to the upside for dollar and you are saying fundamentally and technically this is going to the downside, we might basically save you from losing your, your money or at least if you have the same bias like us, you will go for the trade with uh, more confidence, I would say, okay? Um, cool traders, personally, I think gold will go higher again. Very possible. But like I said, if we get a corrective structure, I'm back to downside. And this is basically just a high probability chance move, okay? Like I said, it's never 100%. There is no 100% in this business, okay? If anyone is saying to you like he is winning all the trades, you have like 100% uh, accuracy, run away as far as you can. Uh, Cat had good news on Friday. Cat also say raise interest rate. Yeah, exactly, James. Um, and most of you have seen basically DoorCat was falling, right? And all the Cat pairs as well. Perfect, guys. With that note, I wish you a successful trading week. You trade with care. That's with W members. We see you tomorrow. We'll see you every day for the day live sessions. And I'll see you personally for the next multi session. It will be next week. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye.